one of the most famous stories that Jesus ever told or helped or was involved with was the woman at the well. An outcast of society, yet Jesus knew who this person was and he made all the difference in her life whenever he went and she came out to meet him. Let's sing, Rolled Away, Rolled Away. <laughs> Boys and girls, I'm in Croatia and it's very, very hot. And whenever you're in a hot country, one of the things you need more than anything is water to quench your thirst. Because if you don't quench your thirst, your body's going to get very, very dry and you're going to dehydrate. And we've come across a well and I got a glass, very, very pure water, and you can drink this. Mm. And I thought, I love water. Water is so refreshing. And I, I thought, wells? We don't have wells so much at home because we've got taps in our bathrooms, in our uh, kitchens, in our schools. Everywhere you go, you'll find a water tap and the water system is all underground. Some parts of the country you can drink water, other parts it's maybe not so tasty, like a free pipes, etc. But this is a natural, come from a natural spring. And in the Bible, there are so many stories in the Bible about a well. For example, Moses, whenever he was on the run, he came across a well, and there he was able to help a man with his daughters and get some water for their sheep, etc. And as a result, he got a job and lived there. The one I want to share with you is in the New Testament, John chapter 4. And this is a very, very interesting story. Even the birds come here for a wash and also a drink. But in this story of the well with a woman, the Bible says Jesus was walking with his disciples and he said, I must go through Samaria. And the disciples said, Lord, why do you want to go through Samaria? Don't go through that way because Samaritan people live there and they never like Samaritan people. But Jesus taught them a very important lesson that he loved the Samaritan people. He loved the Jewish people, the Gentile people, the Samaritan people. A Samaritan was a mixed person, half Jew, half Gentile, and they were Samaritan from Samaria. And the Bible says whenever he came outside the city, he stopped at the well and he sat down. And while he was waiting, he said, who wants to go and buy some bread? And off, off all the disciples went to buy some bread, all of them. And Jesus sat alone. And while he was there, the Bible says a woman came. We don't know this girl's name, but it was a woman of Samaria. And she saw Jesus sitting, but she never, she never looked at him, never talked to him. She just saw him as a Jewish man. And you just went and in the Bible times you'd often pull the water with your hand up and you would fill your pitcher carried on your shoulder or on your head and while he was doing that Jesus said excuse me can I have a drink of water and she was taken back and she said why are you a Jew talking to me and Jesus said, if you only knew who was talking to you, I could give you water and you would never thirst again. Whatever Jesus said, never thirst again, she said, what do you mean never thirst again? I come here every day and I'm always thirsty. This is a central message of this here. The woman was thirsty and she came to get water. But it also teaches me that whenever this woman says she had, she had five husbands and the man she's living with isn't even her husband, 
Jesus was reaching out to all different types of people in society, not just the rich and the famous, not just the educated, but someone who was despised and rejected by her own community in the village in which she lived in. And I'm totally amazed at this here, that Jesus went out of, a, out of his way. He just didn't go to the crowds of people. Even though his disciples didn't want to go here, Jesus said, I must go through, through Samaria. And it was just enough for this one woman whom he loved. But there's a bigger picture, and we're going to find out. Because the woman said, I want this water I, because I'm thirsty every day. It's so hot, I need water every day to drink, to survive, to wash with. And whenever Jesus said, when I give you water, you'll never thirst again. He was talking about himself. He was talking about everlasting satisfaction, everlasting life. And she wanted this here. Now, the amazing thing is whenever she realized she could get this from Jesus and she realized who this person really was, do you know what she done when she said, I want it? She left her pot and she ran off into the village. A little bit like the disciples. Whenever Jesus called the disciples, they left their nets and they came and followed Jesus. But this woman didn't stay with Jesus. She was so excited. The Bible says she left her pot and she ran off into the village. And we're going to find off, run off and find out what happened whenever she went off into the village. So the woman ran back into the village and said, she said, come and see a man that knows all about me. And this woman had a history of knowing lots of men because she'd been, had five husbands, she'd been married five times, and the man she was with was a new man whom she wasn't even married to. So this woman was the talk of society. She was the outcast. Everyone was talking about her, gossiping about her, and she was, they were making fun of her and mocking her. So out of all the people, she was a way, way, way different down in the list of dislike embarrassing people but that's the very person Jesus went out to find whenever he said I must go through Samaria now whenever this woman said to everyone come and see a man people would have normally thought what man is she talking about now here she goes again but whenever she said come and see a man a mo the moment she said that word a man the people knew the man she's speaking about this man whom she's met is someone different he's not a normal man and the Bible says a whole village come out to meet to see who this man was and whenever they come out there was Jesus sitting at the well all alone by himself in the meantime the disciples come out and whenever they noticed Jesus talking to this uh, woman they were afraid to ask him any questions why are you talking to such a person because they knew he was doing something and he was at his work and something was going to happen and the Bible says a whole village come out to meet Jesus and as they come out the Bible says Jesus preached the word unto them he spoke to them about himself he explained who he was and why he had come and explained what everlasting water was that you will never thirst again and the Bible says as Jesus spoke over half the village believed on the lovely name of Jesus the Son of God and I thought the way Jesus spoke is exactly the way it's done today it's called preaching the word explaining the Bible opening the word of God and speaking about it and faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God salvation is a free gift salvation is of the Lord it's a very personal thing between a person and God and as Jesus spoke the Bible says over half the people believed in the Son of God the other half didn't believe they heard him they saw him they maybe liked him but they went back to the village without believing in him half of the people believed why now you can trace it all right back to one individual woman the outcast of society, the embarrassment of society by the way she lived, the way people treated her. But she was the very person the Lord Jesus loved equally and even more so than anyone because through her, many more people would believe in the lovely name of Jesus. And I thought right back to the beginning of the story, Jesus said, I must go through Samaria. If that was you, would you go through Samaria or would you go around the edge of the village so you don't have to meet with those people, mix with those people? And I think life Life is always divisive. As you go through life, there's people don't like groups of people, societies of people, countries of people. But whenever the Lord Jesus came, we said, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Every single person born into the world is born with sin. And the Bible says, God loves everyone and God loves you. And I thought the picture of this woman of Samaria is a beautiful picture of the Lord Jesus. Love, 
from when he demonstrated his love to go out of his way to meet that woman that she can believe in him and trust in him and not just have ever water to thirst again but to have everlasting life because she believed in the lovely name of Jesus what a story the story of that woman when she believed in the Lord Jesus became a Christian she joined the Lord's army or became a member of God's family so let's sing the lovely song I'm in the Lord's army singing that song and sometimes I can use my water pistol and squirty squirty <laughs> that's all for me for me today Colin and thank you so much for watching see you next time bye yeah, 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 yeah.